If you're not subscribed to my channel, press that little red button and subscribe because there's lots of exciting things to come. Celery juice. This is how I start my morning. I actually haven't had celery juice for the, um, since I've started travelling. Um, and this morning I finally made it. The problem was, since I've been in um, Chiang Mai, I couldn't find it anywhere. And I was thinking, my goodness, these people don't have celery. So I went to this place yesterday and it's called the Vegan kitchen and there's a gorgeous little I call her the Thai philosopher um, who works here and she gets all this organic produce she's so cute anyhow I went and asked her about celery I said I can't find it anywhere and um, she said oh I give you some so she took me to a little garden and she showed me and it was super thin like the footage I just showed you and I was like oh my god and Tom even said to me, he said, does she understand what you're saying? I said, yeah, she understands, she understands. So she gave me a small little bunch. She didn't have actually much in her pot. I actually felt guilty. She cut all what was in her little pot. And we went down to the markets and I bought massive amounts. And I've got this gorgeous lady who is one of the admins on my raw vegan fruitarian for life forum and she is just the genius of genius when it comes to gardening so I asked her I said what kind of celery is this and she told me it's Chinese celery which works out perfect because I've only got my little ninja here and as you saw I manually had to make my juicer and my juice I don't have any um, juicer here so you know my blender can only handle so much they are not in the league of a Vitamix so if you're thinking of purchasing a blender spend the extra money and get a high speed blender this unfortunately is what I've got to have whilst I'm traveling anyway the proof is in the taste of the pudding so let's see how we go Super good, super nutritious, super start to the morning.
delicious freshly squeezed orange juice. Absolutely, I hope absolutely. Yum, it's so good. They called these oranges blood oranges, but I truly think they're mandarins. They look like mandarins, they smell a bit mandarin-y, and this definitely tastes a bit mandarin-y. Who knows? I'm not going to get a straight answer here, that's for sure. So all I can do is say, you know what, I don't care. I bought 10 kilos of those blood orange slash mandarin things for probably about $3 US. <laughs> I'm not complaining. This is the best juice. Hi, I'm back again. Okay, I'm having jackfruit. I've got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of jackfruit. And gosh, I buy this um, at the markets on a little tray. Mm, it's good. It's probably a little bit under up. Mm, I love it. Do you know, juicy fruit chewing gum, which I don't advise anybody to have. Um, actually was derived from the taste of the jackfruit. So there's a little bit of trivia for you. Okay, I'm going to make a smoothie, smoothie time. Okay, so I've filled my blender up with little baby bananas. Yeah, nine of them, so I reckon that's equivalent to about four, you know. Let's be real, they're not big, are they? They're bigger than the little ones I showed you before. These are like the bigger style Asian ones, but still not that big. They're a little bit soggy because I freeze them because it's so goddamn hot here. And I hate hot smoothies. I hear some people say, I like my fruit at room temperature. Yeah, but not smoothies. Smoothies have to be chilled, they have to be cold. If you're not having them chilled, you're just not having a nice smoothie. I just think it tastes like rubbish in a glass. But. And I had somebody say to me today on a post that I should be having herbs in my smoothies. Yeah, I probably should, but you know what? At the moment, I'm really just enjoying these tropical fruits. I'm loving them. Um, they just oh, taste so good. I don't want to ruin them by the taste of anything else. I'm just, I haven't um, been able to enjoy so many fruits in so long the way I am because they're really expensive in Australia. So I'm just enjoying everything for the way I want to enjoy it. So here you have it, I've got my little smoothie, but it's so thick because I put too much in. Oh God, I miss having a good blender, but you know what, it is what it is. We were gonna walk, but we ran into our tuk-tuk driver that we have regularly, just by chance, and he's dropping us down to the night market. So we're in the little tuk-tuk this big beautiful salad and it's just 
amazing. I've got in there Chinese lettuce and a few people have asked me what Chinese lettuce is. If you're wondering what Chinese lettuce is, go into your local Asian store. A lot of them will sell it. I love it. It looks very similar to romaine, but it's a little bit softer. I just really enjoy the subtlety. To be honest, I don't even know if I'd find romaine lettuce here though. So I'm having the Chinese slash Asian lettuce, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've got a cucumber in there, two tomatoes, a mango, three of those little sugar bananas and half a mashed avocado mashed with lime juice and I've also got the juice of five of those mandarin things <laughs> I don't know blood oranges mandarins whatever um, I've juiced that and I've put that throughout the salad so that is my dinner tonight <laughs> 